Now this is my grand's recipe. Uh, so it's in cups and ounces, so I'll do what I can to transfer that into normal metric measurements, is that what you call it? Um, but my mum's fallen over today walking the dog out this morning, so she's got a swollen ankle and feeling a wee bit sorry for herself. So I thought I would make her this, drop it off to hopefully make her feel a wee bit better. You get yourself a pot, we're going to put some of the ingredients in here and cook it in the hob before adding the eggs and the flour afterwards. First thing I want you to put in is 150 grams of your currants, that's sultanas though, <laughs> of your sultanas, and 150 grams of your currants. So that's obviously going to be the fruit of our fruit loaf. I will mention at this stage I want you to preheat the oven to 190 degrees. To that we're going to add your sugar. You're then going to add in your 125 grams of marge. And last ingredient, obviously they're not an ingredient photo, but needs to go in, water. 135ml of water. You're then going to put this on the hob, bring it to the boil and allow it to simmer for five minutes. Once it's came to the boil, you want to turn down the temperature just so that it's simmering like that and simmer it for about five minutes. And you know, fruit loaf is one of the only things I still use a wooden spoon for. Not my silicon spatula. This is a wooden spoon job. Classical wooden spoon for a classical recipe. And once you've simmered for five minutes, take it off the heat and we're going to allow it to cool down because you don't want to add egg to this at this point in time because it'll just scramble the eggs. So allow that to cool, I generally leave it for about 10-15 minutes before we start adding the eggs and then the flour. Once you've allowed it to cool down, add in your eggs that you've whisked up in a cup and mix that through. Weigh out your self-raising flour and we're going to mix that through as well. I'm just going to get the flour and add it in. And mix that through. And all you're going to do is get a cake tin and line it with greaseproof paper. I think these are all the ones that fit in perfectly. And then spoon in your mixture from the pot. And that's it. So put it in the oven that you've preheated to 190. So I've just done the stick test at 40 minutes and it is still a bit gooey inside. But as you can see, the top's nice and brown. I don't want it getting darker. So I'm going to put some tin foil over it just so that it doesn't get burnt on top whilst we continue to cook the inside. After one hour at 190 degrees. So I'm going to allow that to cool before slicing.